Hey guys, what's up? The Royal Australian here. The following disclaimer applies. And I think I just heard my uh, uh, my delivery coming in. I'll disclose the delivery uh, in the future. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I took delivery of a brand new CPU, Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 7 3700. Although I should have went for the 3800, it was pretty cheap. Uh, okay. Campaign. Second to last video, let's do this. The Battle of Three Worlds. Narration mode enabled. Oh, by the way, the Royal Australian here. Uh, and of course, uh, standard disclaimer applies. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion videos, musical content, pictures, voice recordings, videotapes, Blu-ray and DVD videos without authorization of copyright owners and holders. This is what is called fair use under entertainment and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, gameplay, teaching, parody and other types of communication under this law, which does not infringe the Copyright Act 1972. Under Section 17, sorry, United States Code 107. We in Australia use the Fair Trades Act, which includes the US Copyright Act 1972 as per trade agreement by the Prime Minister of Australia at that time. So, without further ado guys, let's go. Shark! Don Thousand's power still remains. It's also pulling our world into a collision course with Astral World. If our three worlds collide, Astral World will be destroyed. But since we defeated Don Thousand, his power should be gone. It's not, because I inherited Don Thousand's energies. What? You absorbed Don Thousand's power? You forget that I am a Baryon. Baryon World and Astro World are sworn enemies locate, locked in a war with each other. So if you want to save Astro World, you'll have to defeat me. But Shark, I don't want to fight a school friend. Wrong. We are not friends. Not as long as you take Astral side. There's gotta be some way that we can work it out, please? There isn't. For once, Shark and I agree. Our worlds cannot mutually exist. We must do battle. Let's find out which one of our which one of our worlds will survive. Oh boy. Thank you.
it's a toy. Ah, crap. And number fifty four Lionheart. Well, that's game over. That's one. And remember guys, the rules are as follows. If I can't beat him using the character deck, then I will most certainly will using a user recipe. A user recipe can only be used after three attempts. Oh, hello. I'm just going to go gaga gaga cowboy.
Karma. Oh, I control another Giga God monster. What? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, rank up magic astral force. Number thirty nine, Utopia Ray, victory beyond. Uh, Utopia Beyond. Oops. <laughs> okay, I guess they can be set face down with bait cards. GG. <laughs> On the second attempt. Shark! Shark! I guess my long journey has come to an end. You have your, you have your, your whole entire future ahead of you, Yuma. I wish I was around to see it. Thanks for teaching me to feel the flow. You are great duelists and even better friends. Shark, goodbye. 
With the tragic loss of Shark, Astral finally took possession of all 100 number cards. Yuma, we have finally accomplished our goal of gathering all 100 number cards. Their combined energies allow me to access the Numeron Code, the source of all creation throughout the universe. It gives me the power to rewrite both the future and the past, which I shall use to fulfill my final mission. But I thought we finished our final mission. Wait, you don't mean my mission to annihilate Baryan world. I thought you were done with that nonsense. No, Baryan world is the enemy of astral world. It must be extinguished. Haven't you learned anything at all, astral? You don't have to fight anymore. Your two worlds can be at peace. Peace may have been your goal. It is not mine. Mine remains the destruction of Baryan world. Dream on, because that ain't happening. And how do you plan to stop me, Yuma? Do you dare to challenge me to a duel? You bet. You realize the foolishness of your endeavor. Since I possess all the number cards, you cannot win. Do you still wish to duel? More than ever! Very well, then. Very well. But when I win, I will do more than destroy Baryan world. I will use the Numeron code to erase your memories. It will be as if we never met. Agreed? Agreed. Fine. We shall duel tonight at the courtyard where we first met. Okay. We get the reverse duel. Obviously. Um... Nash, last Baryon Hope. We get his new deck, Atlantean Marksman. Number C101, Silent on the Rock. Second copy. Surface, and Aurora Wing. Second to last reverse duel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to it. Oh man, I can't wait to crack open my new heatsink. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I forgot to tell you this previously. My delivery was of a Noctua. Uh, NHD15S, which is a slimline version of the exact same color, but it is a beast. <laughs> All I have to do is call uh, uh, Noctua uh, by email and uh, ask them to casually swap my CPU cooler out with... Oh, sorry. Uh, attachments with uh, future AM4 sockets. Mm. Okay. First up. Knock out the photon Caesar. Sorry, the Caesar. <laughs> I 
and GG because uh, neither player can special summon anything other than Gravekeepers. First, I'll negate your trap. This one has 3300 attack. Utopian Beyond is what we unlock for beating Yuma that time. Alright, that's the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, you will be seeing this later in the future, obviously, along with the along with the previous videos. videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Royal Australian. Kick the shit out of the subscribe button, beat the absolute crap out of the like button, and beat the crap out of the notification bell to all to be informed when I upload next as it will help towards the YouTube algorithm a lot. Come check out the description below if you guys want to check out what else I do, and what else I have to offer, and what else you can possibly help me with. Thank you very much, have a great day, and bye bye.